Water is often called the universal solvent due to its ability to dissolve many things. As a polar molecule, it is particularly good at holding polar and ionic compounds in solution. In addition to dissolving solids such as table salt and sugar, molecules in gas phase also dissolve in water. The amount of a gas that dissolves in water is described by Henry's Law based on work done by the scientist William Henry back in the early 1800s. The law states that at a constant temperature, the amount of a given gas that dissolves in a given type and volume of liquid is directly proportional to the partial pressure of that gas in the air above the liquid. This is a wordy way to say that the more of a gas there is in the air above the liquid, the more of that gas will dissolve in the liquid. This relationship is expressed mathematically as C equals Kp, where C is the concentration of the gas in solution, K is a constant, and P is the partial pressure of the gas in the air above the liquid. For any particular gas, this is a linear relationship, but the constant has to be experimentally determined for each gas, liquid, and temperature combination. There are conditions where this relationship does not hold, but in general, it does a good job of describing patterns of gas solubility in many real-world situations. One that we all have experience with is the behavior of bottles of, and cans of carbonated drinks. Carbonated drinks have carbon dioxide added under pressure before the bottles are sealed. In an unopened bottle, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the space above the liquid is essentially 100% allowing the liquid to hold a large concentration of dissolved carbon dioxide, much more than it would if it was open to the outside air where carbon dioxide partial pressure is much, much lower. When the bottle is opened, the space above the liquid equilibrates with the air outside drastically lowering the partial pressure and causing carbon dioxide gas to come out of solution forming bubbles. As mentioned, the constant K has to be determined for each gas at different temperatures because the solubility of gas decreases with increasing temperature. That is, the warmer a liquid is, the less gas it can hold. This is also something we have experience with through carbonated drinks. If I were to offer you a choice between two drinks, one that just came out of the cooler and another that has been out in the sun on a warm day, which would you say was more likely to explode, spewing liquid all over when opened? Most people would say immediately that the warm bottle would be most likely to make a mess. This is because the warmer water has less ability to hold the carbonation in solution. When the bottle is opened and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the space above the liquid drops from 100% to well below 1%, the carbon dioxide will come out of solution in the warmer bottle much faster. In addition to temperature, another situation where Henry's Law does not hold up is for gases that undergo chemical reactions once they are dissolved in water. Carbon dioxide again provides an example. When carbon dioxide dissolves in water, it reacts with the water to form carbonic acid. This chemical interaction is one of the reasons why carbon dioxide is so readily soluble in water. 